dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Today's video I think a tornado or something came through before we got to this point, but there were signs everywhere and there was a semi truck flipped over. We had hit a lot of rain and hail, but yeah, it was, it was pretty crummy weather. So as we were getting closer to Nebraska, like always, the weather just turned really nasty. So we go to Ogallala basically once a year and we just happened the past few years to be going for the 4th of July. This was a very last minute trip so we were just thankful to be able to get away for a little bit and the kids love going to Lake McConaughey. The older kids love swimming. The little boys love playing in the sand and so what we did when we got to the campground is just kind of got settled and situated for the night because the weather was just so bad and my kids, I don't know why Ogallala, like there's really, there's Lake McConaughey. That's kind of all there really is to it. It's just lots of cornfields and yeah, lots of cornfields. My kids love the little alien ship that you're going to see coming up here. <laughs> it's a water tower, but they decorated it as like an alien spaceship. So I don't know, this place has kind of become home to us, like a little bit of a tradition coming here each year. So we, like I said, grabbed some pizza and kind of got situated. We did go to Walmart because I didn't even stock up the fifth wheeler for this trip. And at the end of last year, we cleared everything out of it. So we needed a ton of stuff. Some of the kids needed new swimsuits. So the first day was just really getting ourselves situated. And of course, the little boys were so wired and that we were here. So it took a little bit for them to actually want to go to sleep. Yeah. Is that your lightsaber? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why is my sword fight? No, don't. That looks so cool. Ah, Faith. Shut it all fast. Shut it all fast. What? Yeah. So that's this. They finally got tired and decided to go up to the loft to where they usually sleep when we are out in the fifth wheeler. So Time for bed. So if you have never been to Ogallala, Nebraska, there's cornfields everywhere. I feel like the place kind of is just cornfields. Really, it's a little hole in the wall place, but definitely a tourist place because of Lake McConaughey. So we're on our way to Lake McConaughey, which is not very far from where we stay when we come here. So like I said, corn fields as far as the eye can see. And I'm just going to have a little bit of footage. I had my daughter filming so I could share with you guys a little bit if you've never been here of what Lake McConaughey is. So basically Lake McConaughey, also known as Big Mac, has a surface area of 30,000 acres. It's got a shoreline of over 100 miles. It is about 22 miles long, 142 foot deep. So it's really nice. It's cool because you could drive right up on the shore and just get yourself situated for the day. They have like these big tractors that can tow out your campers. Ours is way too big. So we stay at the campground, but you can stay like right up on the shore. It's really cool. And we just drive up and park and just hang out for the day. So love it. Beautiful, beautiful green grass. <laughs> I wish we had a green grass where we live. And I love the side. So like, like McConaughey is on my left, but my daughter was filming out her window. So we've never actually been down there, but I think that's a camping area as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, your brother's got water. What you got, Josh? <laughs> ingredients? What are you gonna make? What are you making, Josh? Joshy, hey, making. I'm making fun. Look what Daddy's got. What is that for? That's your mat to float on. Cool, Jacob. <laughs> Let me see your towel. Turn around. Oh, where's where is it? It's on your other side. Look at it. Where is it? <laughs> Show me your towel. Is it? <laughs> Jacob, I love you. <laughs> You cold, Grace? Grace, do you want to pick up or do you want to stay? I like it, Caleb. Good job, buddy. Yeah. All right, Josh, show us show us how you keep your, your swim trunks on. What what do you put around your waist? This belt. <laughs> oh my god, they're literally Go ahead, Joe, how you doing? <laughs> they're literally fall, falling off them otherwise. Josh, you look at me. <laughs> we went back to the campground after a couple hours and just played in this field. My son was practicing baseball. My kids were throwing a frisbee, and my husband got to realize just how good I am at football because I can throw spirals all day long. I love football, that's my favorite sport. So, we had a ton of fun playing with the kids. So, one of the guys that works with my husband has been going to this place for a long time when he comes to Nebraska and told us we have to stop by. I think it's called Ole's Big Game Steakhouse and Lounge. It's pretty crazy. I know this isn't for everybody, but I thought it was really cool. So, they actually have like over 200 taxidermy mounts, and the guy hunted this all by himself. He originally bought the bar in 1933. And I mean, he's got elk, he's got polar bear, he has giraffes, zebra, all these things. He has hunted every single thing himself that's in here. So once again, I know that's not for everybody, but I actually thought it was pretty incredible. I mean, that, like what an experience to be able to do that. That's just, it's incredible. So really cool exotic mounts. And it was just, they had really good food, little hole in the wall place, never even heard of it. So we just wanted to go here and kind of give it a try because the guy said there's like really good food here. And there was, and it was like definitely a little small hometown type restaurant where everybody knew everybody except for us. We were, we were, we definitely stood out in here, but it was just a really cool little hole in the wall place. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely, if you're ever passing through, just stop on by really good food. Faith, do you not want to be in my video? <laughs> What do you boys think of your ice cream? Is that good? Jacob. <laughs> Were you eating it laying down? What do you think, Josh? <laughs> oh, I found some. That's fun. Yeah, get ready. All right, so we got there a little bit early. We actually thought we were going to be late and miss them. We were able to find parking. Thankfully, it's just in a parking lot at a baseball field. And my kids were having fun just running around, running in grass. You guys have seen my yard. You know what my yard looks like. Like, that is my kids' 
favorite is just finding green grass and being able to run in it. And I had a hill, so they were just playing for a little bit, killing some time until the fireworks started and burning off their little treat. We promised them that we would get ice cream on the trip and we did get them some ice cream. So I had to get this in the footage because my oldest daughter, my youngest daughter are usually, <laughs> they're never really hanging out like that, but it was cute. My oldest daughter had my youngest daughter cuddle up with her to watch the fireworks and everyone's just lounged out and we had a really good time. I absolutely love, and it happens every year that we happen to be right next to the flag. And I think it just looks so cool with the fireworks going off in the background of the flag. I absolutely just I, I love it. I absolutely love it. So we had a really good night hanging out here for the 4th of July weekend. You come and sit with mommy. Yeah, come cuddle with mommy. When we done fireworks on day show, are we even are we going to be done? <laughs> yeah. Why are you ready for this to be done, Joshua? Just so I want to go to bed. So then, <laughs> the next morning night, I want to water bloom. Don't you want to play? Want to play and let's fly off? Looks so pretty behind the flag. One. Looks like someone is flying it around, yeah. Why are they inside the firewall? I don't know, maybe they'll get knocked down. Are you guys gonna watch a movie tonight or get to bed? totally messing with Mike. I He's in front of me and <laughs> the kids had kid bop, kids bop on and uh, I connected it over to his truck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it came on because he gave me the death stare <laughs> in his side mirror because <sighs> he has his windows down. <laughs> I really like to have a lot of fun with my kids. We're on our way back home, but yeah, we always have a good time when we're out and about. And I think I'm a pretty, pretty outgoing mom. I think I'd be considered a fun mom. <laughs> At least my kids think so. So lots of goofing off when we're together. I'm a bit immature for my, my age sometimes, but I, I don't like to take everything so seriously. I do like to lay back and be fun. It was a really good trip. And I am just ready to get back home and see our animals. And we got to get our dogs because we did board our dogs. We had somebody watching our animals while we were gone. So it just feels like forever getting home. But I'm glad we did decide to leave a day early because the weather the next day was going to be really bad. And for Mike to tow the fifth wheeler all the way up the switchbacks and stuff and yeah, it's just, it's not easy with wet roads and you just have to go slower. So we are going to get home. I am going to do a little bit of a grocery haul because as of right now starts my diet change and my food changes and me counting calories. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the haul that I got to jumpstart this way. Just driving home, going to get some groceries and then yeah, I'll see you when we get home.
here and I'm going to try to go over prices. Some of them might be obvious, but I do have my receipt in my hand. So the super green blend that I got here was $5. The organic baby arugula was $3.49. And then the baby spinach here was $5. This I was told to switch to because even salad dressings you think that are good and have good ingredients really aren't, especially if you're counting like macros because now that's what I need to do. And I got poppy seed. These are about 120 calories. And then I got Caesar. They've got nice clean ingredients and these were actually on sale. So from each of these I saved, had I known these were on sale, I would have got a whole lot more, you guys. Um, they're originally right here. They're originally $8.99 and I paid $6.49. So I saved $2.50 on each of those. I got a broccoli and cauliflower mix. Actually, I got two of them because I had to check. So these were two, four, I'm trying to find it, two, Okay, I got two of them, so it was $11.98 for both. I got a mix of bell peppers. I'm not even going to go over that price individually, and I did get some tomatoes. All right, I got two packages of blueberries, and two of these were $11.98 total. I saved $1.98 on these. I needed to start taking, so I have the Tone It Up powder, the protein powder, and I always have, I think it's like plant-based, which I don't care about because I'm not like vegetarian, but it's a plant-based one. And I was told that I need the whey protein isolate. And until I get down the hill to like the vitamin store, which everything's an hour away from us, Safeway only had this, which I'm kind of grossed out by the flavor, like cocoa pebbles. I don't know if that that's what I would have chose, but that's all they had. So as long as it's a whey protein isolate, that's all that matters. So I bought that. And that whey protein right there is $39.99. I also got some PB Fit peanut. Um, is it peanut butter? Yeah, peanut butter powder, which I don't have to have, but I actually like it in my shakes. That was $12.99. And then over here, I just got the vegetable medley mix, which was $5.99. And then I got a couple radishes, two containers of raspberries. They're really small. So it was $7.98 for both of these. And then I got two containers of blackberries. And these were, I think, $5.98. I think that's actually each. I got low fat cottage cheese, which I'm not going to lie. I've never eaten cottage cheese because I'm a texture person and it kind of makes me want to gag thinking about chunks of stuff in my food, but I know it's supposed to be better for you. So that's one of my snack options. I can do some cottage cheese with a handful of fruit. These were $4.58. And then I got the non-fat Greek yogurt and totally forgot right before we left that I got yogurt from Azure Standard, so I'll have enough on hand, and I my kids will eat this too. This was $4.99, and then for my protein shakes, I used the almond unsweetened silk almond milk. This was $8.58, and I actually saved a little bit on these, so it was $7.98. I got my three milks for a total of $11.97. My 2% milks, that's what I use for my lattes, which I am down to drinking one a day. And then you guys, <laughs> oh, I was in Safeway and I'm looking on the bread aisle and I'm like Googling what the bag looks like on Google for like what I should be looking for. I had no clue Ezekiel bread was frozen. I don't even know what Ezekiel bread is because I've never actually had to eat it, but I now need to make that switch. So that is a lunch option with some grilled chicken. So a grilled chicken sandwich basically on Ezekiel bread. And that is, that is what my life has come to now, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, so that was how much? There we go. I had to look for it. $15.98 for two of them. And then the chicken breast was a little bit ridiculous, but like $9 and something a pack, $12 a pack. So I got three packs with three chicken breasts in each. And then I got also the like thin sliced ones for about, I don't know, like $14 each, $12 each. I got two of these. I got a bunch of sweet potatoes because that is something I can have on the side with the dinner. And then I got three things of asparagus. I really forgot the Quest bars. So the Quest bars I got were, there was a little bit of a sale. I'm trying to find 
where the box was. There was a box of them that I got. Okay, the Quest Protein box with four of them was ten ninety nine, and then I got if you got six, if you got six of the bars, you got one for free. So that was the sale. So eleven ninety six for four, and then for three eight ninety seven plus an extra. So these are my groceries, pretty much for this week. The milks will have to rebuy because my kids will go through like a gallon and a half a day. I'm just about to milk our goats, but that is what I got. And the grand total is $329.16. I really do not feel like this is $329.16, but this is what it gets you. So the cost of eating healthy, obviously there is a cost to eating healthy and Safeway, like I said, is probably not the best place. That's why I usually do Sam's Club now starting this month or next month. I don't know. Starting one of these months that we're going to be doing Costco and I do Azure Standard. So I really, now I actually have meal plans created for me and uh, I need to stick to that. So all of that aside, nothing major health-wise. Like I said, I'm going to be going into a video separately, I think, about this. I think so. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want a like more in-depth video on this. I'm gonna take you guys along, or you're gonna come along because hello, I, I have YouTube, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. So you guys are gonna see the changes, the highs and the lows of this whole scenario. Um, yeah, over the next six months for sure you're going to be seeing changes so am I doing like weight loss drugs absolutely not actually what I'm doing is because I was even offered weight loss drugs um, to take from my endocrinologist and I absolutely refuse to do that so I'm doing things the right way I think and I'm going to be building a lot of body muscle and strength naturally by cutting my calories significantly and doing some workouts like good workouts guys so anyway all that to say does that even look like it should cost that much all right it is the next day i was actually really tired after putting groceries away so we just kind of spent the rest of the evening just relaxing and kind of getting some laundry going and unpacking so this is the day after and I am just cleaning the sink, doing a couple things in the kitchen. We have the rodeo. We realized it was the last night for the rodeo in town and we didn't want to miss it. So you're going to see some footage again, like last year at the end of the video, if you guys are interested in that. I know some people like seeing that. So I put some in at the end, but what I am doing is basically cleaning my stove so I can turn around and cook on my stove. Do you guys do that? I'm questioning myself while I'm editing. I'm like, why am I deep cleaning my stovetop when I'm about to grill chicken on my stovetop? I don't know. I feel like us as moms, we do these things and it just makes no sense sometimes. It just makes no sense. It's like you do something to turn around and have it undone. But that is what I am doing right now. And I'm going to share with you guys an absolutely delicious recipe coming up here shortly. It is something that I make pretty much, I'd say at least every other day of the week, but kind of every day of the week, I just make a really big salad. It's delicious. It's perfect for summer. It's got all kinds of fruits and veggies in it. And if you are counting macros, it is an important part of the day. It's an important meal. So I am just cooking right here a thin chicken breast. That is what I'm using. I weigh it after I cook it. I'm also putting on a little bit of Cajun seasoning right now, but I need to have a 3.5 or 4 ounce piece of chicken. So usually that's what half a chicken breast is by the time I'm done cooking it. I just grill it up on the stovetop, weigh it, like I said, 4.1 ounces. It works. I chop it up. I Right now I'm using just a fresh herb type salad. I just grab a handful of that and then a handful of the arugula and then my chopped chicken that I cooked up. And I really do like the Cajun seasoning on it the most, I think, for the salads. Just weighing my ingredients because that is what I now have to do. I can have an ounce of cheese, so I'm just shredding some of the, I think it's the Azure Standard, the Grazier's brand of the raw cheddar. So 
I, you can use really whatever kind of cheese. This is just something that I have to do. So I'm just trying to measure out an ounce of that and I just sprinkle it all over the top. It is so good. And I'm so thankful I can still have cheese in my diet. It just, it makes everything better and just adds so much more flavor to everything. So sprinkling that on. And then on the cutting board, I have some different fruits that I'm going to be adding to this salad as well. I'm first off chopping up some bell pepper. I cut three strips. Yes, I have to measure out that as well. I have a couple blackberries. I have some tomato wedges that I am just slicing up and throwing on top. I also have some blueberries and a couple raspberries. And I decided to, it does up my fat intake, but I know it's a good fat. So I just compensate for the carbs, but I do have some avocado on there as well. I just need to be cautious of that, but it is, the salad is so delicious and it's colorful and it's just, it's perfect. It's so filling. I, I only can eat three quarters of this. My stomach has totally shrunk and I just, I can't, I can't finish things, but this salad is just absolutely delicious. It's a perfect, refreshing lunch. And this is my lunch go-to most of the time. You can switch up the seasonings on your chicken, however you like to. But yeah, the Cajun, the Cajun ones really got me. And then I also am going to add here just, I think like a teaspoon of some raw pumpkin seeds and a teaspoon of some sunflower seeds. These are the ones that I got from Azure Standard. And then the Caesar dressing. I don't know what was wrong with the dressing. It was really thick, <laughs> but that is the finished product. Absolutely delicious. So, so refreshing. And then my least favorite thing I think is drinking salt water. <laughs> not, not my favorite. So I finished my lunch. It was really delicious. Figured I'd get some laundry swapped because we are, I mean, backed up on laundry. If you can see the big black contractor bag to my right. Yeah, that's all laundry. My camera's not even angled to show you the three hampers overflowed completely with laundry from vacation. And I do have a bag of donations down there though, because my son is switching sizes. They're like in between sizes. So I'm donating all his toddler sizes into that bag because he's our youngest and our last. And yeah, I don't need to keep them. So just getting our swimsuits and everything washed up. I don't know why, but this laundry took me like days and days to finish. We've had so much going on. I cannot wait to do an update video coming up here. So much going on. I just, I, I feel like I have been trying to keep my head above water, just drowning in to do we have had a very busy summer, especially with my son's baseball. It is traveling. We've never done traveling before, but there's a lot of commitment to the traveling baseball. Anyway, just trying to knock out as much laundry as I can right now. My oldest daughter is trying to help me and bring me miscellaneous clothes that are throughout the house. And yeah, just trying to get caught up on this. So she's got her washer and dryer going downstairs with their clothes, my three girls clothes. And then up here is just my, my clothes, Mike's and my boys. And yes, she is taller than me. <laughs> I am five foot five and she is, she is taller than me. So it's just hard to believe. Anyway, I got my plants watered. I need to wash my hands after doing laundry in what am I doing right now, guys? It looks like a heart, right? Yeah, I'm I'm flipping chicken. Do you know why I'm flipping chicken? I put all my stuff away. My husband's like, what did you make for lunch? And I was like, I made myself, I think the kids like did mac and cheese. I said, I made myself a chicken salad and I named off what I had in it. And he's like, oh, that sounds really good. Can you make me one? And of course I had put an everything away. So I had to pull it. <laughs> Once again, we clean just to make a mess again. So I literally pulled out every single ingredient that I had just had in my salad back out of the fridge, started grilling his chicken breast on the stove, trying to drink my nasty salt water <laughs> and just uh, trying to fold some laundry while I'm waiting for the chicken to finish cooking on the stove top. Oh my goodness, you guys. 
I am driving myself crazy in this video. I just, there's just so much laundry everywhere and I felt so overwhelmed. I feel like most days I go and go and go and never stop. But then at the end of the day, I look back and I'm like, what did I get done? Like, I feel like I know I did stuff, but I feel like there's still so much to do. And there's actually a quote by Rebecca Wolf. who It's, it's funny, but it says, thus far, the might mighty mystery of motherhood is this how is it that doing it all feels like nothing is ever getting done and i swear that is so true i do so much and i still feel like i'm not getting anything accomplished And here I am making the bed in the middle of the day because let's face it, I'm human. This is real life and my bed does not always get made first thing in the morning when we crawl out of it. Actually, to be quite honest, most of the time it is not made first thing in the morning because I just have a lot to do and my priorities are elsewhere. So just getting the bed made, everybody's getting ready for the rodeo. It is time to get moving and Mike's doing something. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm like, I need to get our bed made. I need to try and put myself together and make myself look a little bit human and just make sure the bed's made for when we get home because Mike will be going to bed. I will not be. I will be going to work out for about two hours because that's what I'm doing. Staying committed. That's part of it. And it about killed me. I wanted to just go to bed like everybody else, but I was good and I behaved <laughs> and I ended up going to work out after. So just putting some fitness stuff away, my 50 pound weighted vest that I wear while I'm using my elliptical, my light tripod stand. I don't know why I threw it back there, but just getting it out of the way, making the place look a little neater. Can you tell our laundry hasn't gotten touched? I'm just waiting to get all the boys laundry and the other stuff on the main floor done before I move our mountain of laundry downstairs. <laughs> Number four of the national finals rodeo. Finished as the runner up the rodeo in Houston. Won nearly $30,000 for those efforts. The bay horse underneath him from the Serbies has cactus flats. Needs to be more than 80 and a half. If he rides this bull, 
did the rewrite, it went no less than second place. But if he rides him and he's the only cowboy to do it, it'll be over six. If you got a bad credit score, say yeah. yeah. Joking. <laughs> Andy, what's your credit score? My credit score is 798. What's your uh, credit card number? Uh, 4266. No, I'm just kidding. I would never give you that. All right, here we go. One more time. Go to Jenny Wilson. The bull's name is Dirty Mike. And we go back to back. Come on, Kelly! And it's going to be a nose that carry our cowboys to the Lord. some dishes everyone's getting themselves ready for bed i am trying to mess with my stupid blender i'm missing the cap so yes i have a piece of foil scrunched up in my hand and my blender is burning itself out i am just tired i am not mad here even though i look really mad and annoyed but making my whey protein shake so i can go work out for the next hour hour and a half if you guys stuck around this long i greatly appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me and i will see you guys on the next video until then take care and god bless